Welcome to Top 10 Android Apps. Uh, you can visit us on top10androidapps.org. Today I'm going to be looking at uh, some of the great Android apps that you should have in your phone if you're a designer or like taking photographs or anything along those lines. Today specifically some superb photo editing softwares, a uh, software that you can get on the Android. I'm using my HTC Wildfire, um, which isn't as fast as its bigger um, cousin, the uh, HTC Desire or even the Evo, so you know if it works on this, uh, it works superbly on those phones. Anyway, so let's have a look at Photoshop. Uh, Photoshop, of course, is world renowned for its editing software, and Photoshop Express app uh, is a great little app. So, first of all, it instantly um, looks at the photos you've got on your phone um, and, and stores them there. And you also go online where you can store photos on the Photoshop online service. So, these are phone uh, photos on my phone. I'm just going to get my ugly mug up here. Uh, now, so here I am. So, what can you do? Well, um, for a start, we just uh, press down the menu, and what you'll find there is you've got uh, upload. Uh, so, when you've finished it, maybe edit photo, uh, set as wallpaper, and a slideshow. So, today we're going to look at edit uh, the photo. There we go. Right, so straight away you've got um, a crop there, or uh, exposure, saturation, tint, black and white, contrast, brightness, you can change the photo there, some soft focus uh, and various effects and borders which I'll come to. So if we go to crop, let's have a look at it, just say crop, OK. So there are straight away you've got this rectangle and you can move it about with your finger as you might expect. So if we uh, look at this photograph, say OK, I don't want any of those lights in the background there, that big light there, um, that'll do nicely. And then we just uh, ticket like that and then that's done so there we are that's cropped and that's all good what about the uh, exposure uh, you can change the exposure um, slide your finger just left and right to see how it looks see if you're bright or dark see how I'm just changing that I'm just trying to get back to a bit brighter there we are that's lovely so we'll, we'll tick that uh, what else have you got here uh, we can go black and white if you want to uh, to, to do that or um, you can change the tint, the various colours. It's got a lovely slide bar here, and you just slide it up so we can change it. You see how the tint has changed? And go back down there. Um, I don't want that. We're going to cancel that. We'll cancel that. Um, no, we'll have that. Um, let me just go black and white. Uh, then, what else have we got here? We've got obviously the brightness. Um, again, just use it just by sliding your finger across you can see you know we get it you just use your finger it's just I mean, it's just so superb and easy to to manage and and edit maybe that's too bright let's that'll do that'll do me let's tick that um, and so all the standard things you expect with some, some simple editing software it's so easy to use not a problem at all uh, soft focus again um, it's a it's a finger slide um, if we just click on there, right, you see the number at the top there, and that will determine whether, how much soft focus. So look at that, too soft there, um, very soft. What we want is um, on my phone. It takes a little while to catch up, but I'm sure on a, a faster phone you wouldn't really have that kind of problem. Um, and so it's working there probably a bit too soft there I mean I know I'm hardly any oil painting but um, I'm going to cancel that okay uh, I don't want that and then finally uh, effects and borders so we can have a look at the effects um, in fact I'm going to come back to the effects um, what we want is uh, uh, just cancel that a minute. Here we are. What we're going to do is borders. Um, so say we can give it uh, uh, various borders here. So you sort of rectangle border or rounded borders. I particularly like this. Uh, it's half tone. Yeah, this film emulsion type border here. So we'll click that. That's good. That's done there. So you see, it's got this sort of 
as though I'm exposing the film uh, like a proof sheet or something sort of exp uh, border like that and then I'm going to add some effects um, I quite like you've got sort of vibrant warm vignette rainbowy colour oh, rainbow like there we are I see sort of rainbow stripes going across there but actually what I want is this pop one there we are so it's a sort of um, classic sort of uh, pop there's a famous Beatles photograph where they're, they're sort of similar like this so sort of slightly psychedelic pop photo star I'm going to tick that that's all done um, and then if I press there it saves it I'm just going to save that and then uh, what we can do is we can say ok uh, it, that's saved uh, where is it there it is just get that there um, I'm going to upload it, upload it, and then here we upload it to Photoshop.com. You can sign up to uh, upload it to your Facebook um, or your TwitPeak. In fact, I'm going to upload this to my Facebook, and it's going to be my new Facebook um, image. Um, I quite like that. So um, again, so it's connecting up, and um, it's going to connect to my. I haven't actually connected yet, but you'd put in your. Um, I'm going to do it now, but your email address etc and password connect to your Facebook and then next time you do it it would automatically upload um, so there you go I mean it's a per superb uh, little little app um, for editing photos on the fly you can take a photograph you can manipulate it with Photoshop the Photoshop app and then upload it straight to um, uh, Facebook or of course you can come out of the app and then upload it to any other uh, Flickr or other photo storage place that you you might have on the web. So there you go. Um, highly recommended. Definitely in my top ten Android apps for sort of designers and photographers and uh, people who like uh, manipulating their photos. Uh, highly recommended. Don't forget to visit top ten Android apps dot org. That's ten one zero top ten Android. Uh, top10androidapps.org um, for more videos and reviews and I'll see you later. Thank you. Bye.